All right, in this uh, demonstration, you can see I've got a uh, coil of copper wire right here, and it's wrapped around this uh, cardboard uh, tube. Um, I also have uh, alligator clips that are hooked onto either end of that uh, coil of copper wire. Those alligator clips then go into here, into this, um, what's called a galvanometer. And a galvanometer measures something called current, which is a measure of uh, uh, how, how much charge goes by in a given amount of time, or how much charge moves through this uh, circuit in a given amount of time. So if there's uh, electricity running in it, we should see some motion on this uh, needle. And uh, if you're uh, looking for what that's measuring, that needle is measuring microamps. And so where it says 100, that's 100 microamps, which is 0.1 milliamps, or 0 .00, 0 0.001 um, amps. Um, sorry, one more zero, 0 0.0001 amps. I also have, as I had in the previous video, um, my little neodymium magnets here. And again, these are just rare earth uh, magnets, very strong magnets. Um, and uh, I showed this on the other uh, video, but they're strong enough to uh, connect right through my, uh, my hand. Oh, see if I can make that work. I guess not. All right, so if I uh, take this, what I want you guys to do is as I, wa as I drop this magnet through the copper wire, I want you to watch what happens on this little needle. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, so I'll do that again. Uh, you might want to play this little video clip uh, multiple times so you can see it, or just try it yourself. That one showed up a little bit better. You could see that uh, twitch. I also have um, a uh, bar magnet here. Um, I don't know if this will be as strong, but we can try it. No, with those number of coils, it's not showing up. But you can play around with some different, uh, different speeds and different magnets. Um, I would encourage you to actually take some of the copper wire and wrap more wrappings around this um, to see if you get greater sensitivity.